This video will show you how to align the optical axis of your telescope element by element with the Hotec laser collimator. First, we will align the primary mirror axis to the collimator. Second, we will align the focuser optical axis to the primary optical axis. Finally, we will align the secondary mirror axis to the primary mirror optical axis. Now we begin the collimation on a Celestron Edge HD Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Hold the collimator at about one tube length from the scope and aim the laser crosshairs into the tube. Move the collimator towards and away from the telescope and observe the size of the crosshairs reflected on the target. Roughly line up the laser crosshairs symmetrically on the collimator target. It's not necessary to be so precise at this step. Position the collimator so that the inner edge of the crosshairs matches up to the ring between rings 1 and 2. First, we will adjust the telescope and then the collimator. We will adjust the horizontal and vertical axis separately, starting with the horizontal axis. Concentrate on one axis at a time. For example, when adjusting the horizontal axis, ignore the vertical axis and vice versa. Roughly align the outer tip of the horizontal laser crosshair with the box shown on the screen. It does not matter if the crosshair is centered, only that it matches up with the left and right vertical edges of the box. The laser crosshair does not have to be centered perfectly on the horizontal axis. Next, align the vertical axis by adjusting the up and down controls on your telescope. Match up the edge of the laser crosshair to the top and bottom edges of the box. Again, don't worry if the laser crosshair is not aligned with the target cross. This will be fixed in the next step. Now we will concentrate on getting the collimator adjusted. Leave the telescope adjustments alone and only adjust the collimator for this step. Concentrate on the up and down tilt of the collimator. Tilt the collimator up and down until the horizontal crosshairs line up with the horizontal target line. In this step, only the horizontal crosshairs matter. We will adjust the vertical crosshairs in the next step. Now focus on the left and right pan of the collimator. Pan the collimator left and right using the side adjustment knob until the crosshairs line up with the vertical target line. You have now roughly aligned the telescope and the collimator. The collimator still needs more adjustment in order to precisely align. It is critical to fine-tune the co-alignment precisely or the collimation will not be accurate. Repeat steps 2 through 4 to perfect the co-alignment. This may take up to 3 iterations to get the alignment perfect. This is the most crucial step in collimation, but once you have co-aligned your scope and the collimator, you are about 90% done. At this point, your telescope's primary optical axis is squared up to the collimator. And now, we will install the reflector mirror in the focuser to align the focal plane. The reflector mirror represents the focal plane of your final optical axis, so it is critical to load it properly. Make sure the reflector mirror is flush against the opening when locking down the thumbscrew for proper registration. Remove your secondary mirror assembly to allow the collimator's laser crosshairs to reflect off the mirror installed at the focal plane. You should see the reflected crosshairs on the collimator target face, but it may be blurry because of additional optics depending on the model of your scope. Adjust the appropriate screws on the focuser to center aim the laser crosshairs on the target. At this point, your focal plane axis is aligned to the primary mirror's optical axis. Now reinstall the secondary mirror assembly into the telescope.
Double check if the scope is still aligned with the collimator and adjust if necessary. Observe how the inner tips of the laser crosshairs are cropped by the secondary mirror assembly and are shifted to the left. This means that the secondary mirror is not positioned properly. It is absolutely essential that the secondary mirror is positioned in the center of the primary optical axis. Some scopes, for example the Celestron Edge HD, have built-in corrector plate adjustments, a very good feature. In other scopes, you will hold and shift the secondary mirror to adjust until all four inner crosshair tips are symmetric on the same concentric ring. Loosen up the shift adjustment screws. Tighten the corrector retaining ring to hold the secondary mirror in the corrected position. At this stage, both the outer and inner tips of the crosshairs are all lined up on the concentric rings. This means the secondary mirror is concentric in the primary optical path and the focal plane from the focuser is also square with the same primary optical axis. This is the final step to collimate your scope. In this step, you will be adjusting the secondary mirror axis to line up with the final optical train axis. Switch to mode 2 on the collimator. Adjust focus to bring all three converging laser dots on the back focuser mirror to a single point. Adjust the corresponding secondary mirror adjustment screws to line up the three dots on the collimator target onto the same track. Check if the converged lasers behind the reflector mirror are also centered on the small bull's eye target. If not, the secondary mirror is still not positioned correctly in the primary optical axis. You will need to repeat the process from step 4 to correct this. Here is the full width at half maximum analysis of the image before collimation. And here is the image analysis after collimation. At this point, your secondary mirror aims parallel to the primary optical axis and your telescope should be collimated. Congratulations! Now you are ready to view the beautiful sky.